Hello everyone, Scoopfish here, and welcome to your event video for The Punisher. This event's going on from the 23rd to the 27th, and is a fitting name because I feel like it is punishing loyal fans of the game. So before we get into this event video, I'm going to go ahead and rant a little bit again because, well, I didn't really have the ability to do any ranting in my Volcanic Dramon video. By the way, sorry I did that video so weird. It was a very strange event for that matter. Uh, this whole situation is a strange event, and that's why I've got a little bit of rant going on. But that was a special event, so I wanted to make sure, considering it was the only story we've had since the start of the game, to do something special for it. So that's why you guys got the video that you did for that. Along with the time crunch that I've ended up in because, well, I'm in a bit of a predicament since uh, Link's changed schedule on me and I do more than one game. So, the reason that I am mad about what's going on with this, as you all know, I was already a little bit skeptical about the fact that we had two events running together. Well, I definitely am now because you guys saw the amount of gameplay and the amount of stamina that it would have taken to do that amount of gameplay for the Volcanic Dramon event. Needless to say, I spent quite a bit of stones to make sure to get all the way through that as fast as I did to get it out to you guys as fast as I could. Which means that if you want to get a decent Volcanic Dramon out of this, then you're going to have to do that exactly. You're going to have to spend stones if you're going to want to have enough time to grind it multiple times throughout this event, throughout this four days of event for such a large event. The biggest event we've had with the most going on for it and they shorten the amount of time for it. It makes no sense and it is completely messed up considering the fact that the Punisher event is, well, hardly even any stages to it and it's really hard if you're doing it a certain route. So, there is the pay for stage in this. Ugh, let, hang on, we have to go over what the event actually is before I really get into bitching about it. Because you guys aren't going to know what the heck is the frustration with this portion of the event unless I cover the event itself. So, the Punisher is a points event, so the only way you're going to be getting any of the prizes from it is to grind up as many points as you can. And luckily, you do have the ability to get some extra bonus points from Diaboromon and Mirage Galgamon Burst Mode. If you didn't get boned on Mirage Galgamon Burst Mode because of the new event schedule that they didn't tell us about for shit. Now here's the cash grab that I was getting to this being. If you spend Digistones on a certain stage within this, the only the third stage available within it, so there's only three stages even available in this event, and if you spend Digistones on it, you can get lots more points for doing it. Guess what? That's the only stage that's worth doing because of the amount of points you're getting from it and the difficulty level. If you're not a, someone who has plus four Digimon that have uh, type advantage on this then the only other stage that gives out a lot of points that's available Which is only available for one part of the day Isn't going to pan out for you and that is the challenge level of the quest that is only available once per day That's the only other level that's available in this you have basically easy mode the normal thing that you go through which it is all bright Digimon throughout this entire thing except for Ragulmon but we've got that easy mode, this challenge mode, and then the special stage mode or, uh, that you spend Digistones on to actually unlock. That's it. For four days, during the time in which we're still doing the Shadow Dragon event. Which is going to take you a majority of that time anyway if you're not spending stones to do stamina and just get through it as fast as you can. Plus, if you thought that you were just going to do co-op and go through challenge level so that you could go ahead and still rank up off of those points and get everyone else that's the the higher level to help you out well that's not going to happen either because it's only soloable so you have a crap level that is going to give you hardly any points a level that is not able to be soloed by any lower level players that is only available once per day and a level that you have to spend digi stones on to open up for half an hour they set this up to suck back all that thousand digi stones that they gave us if you didn't already burn that out on the previous event. And then if you did burn it out on the previous event, you're pretty well freaking boned on this event. You're not going to have time in four days 
to get a good Digimon out of both of these. Now, at least they go ahead and give you a Meikumon, and they don't tell you that they give you a Meikumon if you... It's part of the points uh, prizes for this event for the Punisher. They do give you a Meikumon that you can push up to Raguamon if you are somehow able to get enough of the stuff because guess what? Meikumon actually takes fragments for the ultimate level as well. That's not mentioning that Volcanic Dramon takes specific plugins that you can only get during this event and that's why it makes them both insane to grind for four days and anyone try to get higher level Digimon out of these. Basically, just get your collection done. You're getting it. You're lucky if you get your seven fragments out of it if you're a free-to-play player. And to make things even worse, on top of getting fragments for Raguamon, you are also having in the mix for those points prizes Seraphimon fragments. So you're gonna have to grind twice as hard to get the amount of fragments that you need for Raguamon because you're going to be getting Seraphimon filling in part of those prizes where you would normally get other stuff and be working on progress towards Ragulmon. Who the fuck cares about Seraphimon right now? I'm sorry you guys, this is pretty much just a Punisher rant video. That is your guide right now, is my rant because, well, there isn't much to even really cover. You've got easy mode, you've got easy mode that you paid for, and then you've got hard mode you can do once a day. And if you want a good Ragulamon out of it, you're not even going to use the Meikumon that you get out of prizes because guess what? It's a 5 slot Digimon that doesn't have any skill. There's no leader skill, there's no good signature skill, it's just a Lynx Digimon. It's basically a crap Digimon. So you're going to want to spend stones on the metal capture that's going on right now along with this. So sorry, I forgot to even cover the other captures that's going on with this because no one cares. Except for Meikumon being available in it, which they do make sure to go ahead and tell you that Meikumon is available during that metal capture, but they don't really state very openly for everyone to just know right off the bat that, hey, you're gonna get a Meikumon out of it. They are sucking stones. They are just going ahead and becoming pay-to-play completely now. This event is pay-to-play. And it's disrespectful as shit. We're going to go ahead and lose more of our player base after we lost a giant chunk of player base. Because they just come back and shit on everyone that actually stayed loyal and stuck around and waited for their damn game to be fixed because of whatever fuck up they made. We still don't know what the hell actually happened. Did you guys get hacked? What happened? Did a server catch fire? We don't actually know. They just put the game down for two weeks, come back, fucked the schedule up that we had before. Oh, by the way, if you guys have had a problem with getting in Coliseum in time, that's because it's an hour later now. It's 11 and 5 that Coliseum is going as far as rotation, and they didn't tell us that either. So if you were wondering there, you've got to hit it at 5 o'clock instead of 4 o'clock, and 11 o'clock instead of 2 o'clock, or 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, where'd that come from? Ugh, I'm just so frustrated. I'm starting to get all freaking rambly and tongue-tied and pissed off. No, oh, I'm already pissed off. Anyway, there is your Punisher event guide. If you guys are as pissed off about the way that these events lined up as I am, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, that YouTube stuff down below if you haven't already. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.